looking at these two lineups, I have to say, I think Secrets is a little bit easier to execute, right? You, it's a little bit safer to jungle to get that level two. And as you said, MMY making life really rough for Misery. Although in the mid lane, we're going to have a Shackle onto maybe and the Sun Strike. Auto attacks will make that our first blood coming out. They all trying to walk in onto Misery. The Donata has come out. He's slowed, taking heavy damage, and he goes down as well. So a little too slow on LTD, but still. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Oh yeah, the unit's lane laning is just super annoying to deal with. Oh, we are gonna get Donata there. He actually goes in for the meatball drop on the maybe walking out of it, and the auto attacks will have it. Fairy fire or no, but maybe probably given her life for this being burned down, salving away auto attack stops it. Can she get a denied it creeps here, but instead a nightmare comes out and looking like she's gonna be going down. She does manage to go for the dragon slave, but the brain sap gets the last hit. So he's actually above her in net worth. I'm a little surprised. Oh, okay, we have one's back on top onto Misery. He's gonna take some damage, but with a TP rotation in, not sure if he wants to stick around. Waveform's out, leaving DDC in a bad spot. MMY's coming in, though. Can they get this kill onto Misery? Yes, they can, and now Pylai die. He's gonna have to wander away. And while all of that's happening, Invoker, and maybe again, Exchange Heads. Oh, okay, maybe maybe going down one more auto attack. She does end up burning. We hot. The that was a really well placed up. Ahead of Misery. And also, uh, he's the same level as the Ember. Now Misery gonna take some Janata. Again, there is gonna be... Oh, a Dust coming out. Uh, do they have a way to stop Highlight Die? And TP's coming in. This is looking like a fight that LGD cannot take. Nightmare up on Scylla. He's level 7. I don't know where his Replicant is. I don't see it out. And instead, he's gonna fall to a Meeple. He manages to wave. Good for the TP. Is this gonna be the escape? Deafening Raw stops him from getting out there. Uh, a blink or the the chrysalis Radiance next. Oh, he mm -hmm. really likes being a blink ember spirit. He's very skilled with gears, makes a lot of value out of it. But there's a static storm right on his head. They're gonna glimpse him back into it. Also kinetic field. The Laguna blade to finish him off. Just as we were talking about how good of a player he is, I don't think there's a way to dodge that type of business though. Yeah, I, I don't think there's much you can do against that. Uh, it's gonna. Ha I think it's it was it's gonna happen eventually. Fortunately. Why is he gonna get caught out here? Yeah, yeah Fiend's grip going out. That, I mean, this again, no much you can do there as a support. RPK actually a big hook. He's evolving the voice to pull into trouble. Actually gonna get hooked up there. Didn't have time to get off. Oh, it is gonna be a sun strike. Not sure this is still enough damage with the changes to Doom. So, yeah. Time. They have all the tools they need. A couple levels of vacuum, a mech, and then and then they have track. So they're all rotating oh. the jungle together now. Pylai die gonna be taking a bit of damage. This just sets up for the sun strike on the other side of the fight. Misery gonna get glimpsed backwards. He is tanky, but not enough for all of these auto attacks. Wards are dropped by Puppy though. He can hold anyone here like MMY. Laguna Blade comes out on him, but it's not enough. And now Lena goes down instead. MMY is invisible. Static Storm again dropped on Envy, but there's no follow up damage. And oh gosh, the baby Doom Wings are about. They are stunning people up. Ember Spirit is in there. He does get the Searing Chains off onto Scylla. Four for one. That was really unfortunate for Elf. It would depend on how they feel uh, their, their current game is going, I suppose. Like, if they're ahead, you just buy Blink. Or maybe or maybe something else. I, I don't I don't know how Radiance Puppy likes to itemize. Okay, we have the converging onto Pilot Eye, but they missed the stun, maybe uncharacteristically. Uh, Shelter. Now Puppy coming out. He does have the mass over boards at the ready, but the Doom has already been used on DDC. If he needs to hit a good life striker, he does manage to get it off. Misery taking damage here. They also love the disruptive or he's stolen out. Ember Spirit walking in on the life striker. He's gonna hit, but maybe he has to walk through those boards and the last auto attack from um, Weeha. Gonna get it. LTD really having some trouble here. Yeah, I, one of the biggest problems is that it's not high enough level vacuums and that kind of stuff. So Secret just split, like, they just split up and then just pick everyone apart. They're not in, Dyer's top tower. They're not oh. in threat of anyone. They didn't use the track on Weeho, but they drop a sentry, glimpse into a static storm. He uses the Yules, buying quite a bit of time here. With so many heroes around, can he get a return kill? No, instead, they get the big old bounty, putting it on Wolfling. Weeho got his, you know, 
core tools it needs to... Oh, speaking of tools, ROTK can end up being a exactly wall combo. There are wall traps right on his head. Silo coming in to see if he can help out here at all. They're gonna be a glimpse back into a static storm. Still not enough damage. They need to burn someone down. Wait for him. This puts Silo in a horrible position. He's doomed up. Laguna Blade comes out. He's actually morphing strength while doomed. Is that what I'm seeing right there? No, he wasn't. He is just trying to survive. He's gonna get the knife. No. We do manages to get the lost hit and on the disruptor. And now maybe... Nightmare, uh, Bounty Hunter's looking for a kill, he almost gets two! If he can catch up Misery here, Shuriken, he does have the one charges. Doesn't end up going for it, so... Yeah, I mean, they're doing... Uh, okay, so you talk about this positioning, actually, oh. we're maybe gonna have MMY walk up into them. They didn't have it in here. They're grouped up. Are they we're thinking... Like, what's going on? The smoke is actually now gonna be real. I just tried to say, does it? Misery, they're trying to blow him up, or... But do up an MMY taking heavy casualties. We all is stuck in the kinetic field static storm. Life strike array will stun him. No spells coming out of that man. But now the doom on the maybe he has dropped his toolkit. The mech not gonna help out enough in misery. The RODK he's trying to run. He goes down. Another four for one. Yeah, and once again, this is this is what I'm talking about. Make sure they don't give LGD Roshan. Now, this did happen last game, though. It felt like Secret was dominant for the first 20-25 minutes. What is going on with Pylai Dai? Uh, just helping them destroy the tower. There will be a Yules. It looks like Secret might not actually... Okay, they are just going to completely sacrifice him. Moving away. Not thinking that this is a good setup for an engagement. Pylai Dai is an expert in it, so... Now, Guardian... Okay, as I say that, I was gonna say a ROTK close to Guardian Greaves, but instead he's close to death, Sunstrike also coming out, he will be able to get off the wall! But it is not enough, even though he makes the... Sorry, the vacuum there, it was actually a pretty nice vacuum, but he's dead for the count, they should be able to get this before he respawns, he also has to TP. So... This just allows MV to play so much more ballsily. RTK yeah. bought back, they want to fight this. Yeah, but they're gonna be way too late. The dust comes out, he actually plays and gets a little vacuum out. Who is gonna get the Aegis in Volga gets it. They also got the kill. A nice static storm is set up, they blow up Misery. Can they get any sort of follow-up? RTK goes down, but you know, it's a dieback on the guy who blended everything. And LGD... Also, ways of catching out Silo are starting to come out. Even though he has a Lincoln's Pylai die, has that Aether lens up. Also, going to start working on a Glimmer Cave. Speaking of catching people out, they just blow up maybe Weeha again. Big Invoker already has the Blink and the Ag. All for that combo. So, I don't think they're gonna let that happen. They just split up. Don't get caught by that, and eventually. Oh, Sila gonna get caught out by Puppy taking heavy damage. Fiend's grip as well. Looks like he's falling. No chance to get away there. And now Puppy, they expect wards for that, but could this be what they need to go high ground? I they have takes to go high ground. Oh, Puppy gonna get damaged a little bit here. Immediately follows up with the dust, and they get a kill on him, but. MMY getting caught along with maybe they will get out of the Sunstrike. MMY is still visible with that dust the surge away and the Guardian Greaves to bring him to safety. Double Dust here does have that the next team that's playing uh, Secret is probably gonna watch this match. Oh, they're going in onto maybe there's gonna be a vacuum, but we all shot that BKB. She actually ends up using her Yules to dodge a lot of it, and that should be the end that Sila thinking about coming in oh they have a glimpse back onto misery light striker hit as well will we see the shotgun there it is also amping up that laguna blade because she does not have aganim scepter yet gonna get himself out of the emp can they catch anybody else weehaw's bkb is on cooldown here he does of course have the blink at the ready and it's looking like that should be the end of the engagement uh yeah lgd need to save Probably needed to start saving him for five back. Oh no, they have caught out the Bounty Hunter who is a freshly picked up gem. He is going to be blown up. They, they pulled that pretty recently and of course it sets up nicely for Roshan as well. Means that catching anyone is difficult. There's going to be TPs coming in. Weehaw has a blink. They need to get all the way out of here. But Puppy is starting out with the Atos right under a sentry there for MMY. Doesn't even matter. Gets blown up. That took Invoker what? Three hits? 
how aggressive their play can be. Although RTK's only job here, as you said, he has to get a big wall vacuum, but with wards, you don't necessarily need your heroes on the high ground. Ward placed inside, Fiend's grip onto ROTK. Sunstrike gonna come out as well. The Glimmer King doesn't save you from that pure damage, and with the doom, he is brought down. He does have buyback. This would be very costly, though, and he will end up using it. NB is standing inside of their base. Sila, not much he can do here. Does have the shotgun up and a BKB, but going into fight, there's so much physical damage here as well. Tornado gonna be off the mark. Puppy jumps in actually again, going on ROTK. They just wanna lock this guy down so he can't get up a wall vacuum now. Big EMP static storm is really nice, but they have BKBs to go through it. ROTK Guardian Greaves up is gonna have oh suddenly Envy right on top of him, and that's a dieback. Looking like this game is all but over. Envy burning one life. Lincoln's is popped on Sila. Can he get any sort of fight on Envy? I just imagine he'll remnant away. As he does that, they've gotten a free Rax. Well, they have the melee still, but that was a very costly hold. Yeah, uh, you need a Scotty, you need, you know, you're feeling like maybe you need a Satanic or something ridiculous, but you're a Morphling, you need damage, Laguna Blade does come out on Envy, I don't think they have the control, we talked about this, and Sila not able to get in range for the shotgun, and now they are caught out of position, there's gonna be a Fiend's grip out on Sila, he is forced to right into uh, Weeha, taking more damage, is there a Doom with his name on it, it's on cooldown for Sila with the BKB, but Weeha again, Fiend's ground, Sunstrike coming out, that's pure damage, he is pushed forward, Sila taking more damage, the auto attacks will have it, he does have buyback, but they lose the Disruptor, who doesn't, and maybe that mid Rax is ripe for the taking. We are uh, refreshing for Sunstrike is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it was with double Sunstrike. I think it's the right move there because obviously killing the Morphling, forcing this buyback really retards its item progression. And now we're going to be seeing Sila caught out again. Lincoln being popped. He is going down, and I imagine the GG calls will follow shortly after. We'll see another Sunstrike, and there it is the GG call. Eternal Envy's Ember Spirit, too strong. Are they even bad now? Other teams going forwards will have to decide what they're comfortable playing against, but clearly we have.